Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is the 18th video of our LZH Project series. And in our earlier video, in the 17th video, we looked at R-Sync and now it's, you can say it's part two of that series. Uh, and today we will look at R-Snapshot. So R-Snapshot works almost like same as R-Sync but it has more features uh, and it has incremental backup, full backup. So let's start with uh, R-Sync, uh, R-Snapshot, sorry. To make sure that we have R-Snapshot already installed in our system, uh, let's RPM query with R-Snapshot. And the query uh, shows that we already have R-Snapshot in our system. Uh, however, if you guys don't have it, uh, I'll just paste the link uh, from where you can download it. So here is the link. You can use wget to download this from dl.fedoraproject.org. And all you have to do is press enter. I already have it. So uh, you, I think I mistyped it. That's why I just wanted to make sure. Okay, I found it like the problem was here. Like we need to mention this dot uh, after one it's dash 13 and now press enter and then it will download and then we can install it using rpm so, but first let's go to this uh, place where we have downloaded it ls it's over here rpm hyphen ivh r snapshot and the press enter but i already have it so as you can see it's saying that it's already installed so that's how you install r snapshot so let me clear the screen and once you have installed it go to etc and let list rsnapshot.conf and I would always recommend you to make a backup of all the configuration files before editing them so let's create a backup so copy our snapshot to rsnapshot.org original and you can always uh, keep this backup safe somewhere so let's edit it with our vi editor Okay, it has a number of uh, options, so let's uh, check them one by one. It's showing the version 1.2. Okay, this is the place where you want to keep your data safe. So I'll just change it to data or R snap data. We, we can create it R snap data. Let's keep it in OPT. Okay, going down. Okay, no root. So if no root create uh, is disabled, R snapshot will uh, not automatically create the R snapshot root directory. This is particularly useful if you are backing up to removable media. So <clears throat> we can uh, we need to uh, check what option of uh, what option options we can. Um, make available and whatnot. So let it uh, be commented. Going down, this option should be uncommented if uh, it's uh, commented. Need to make sure. Then this option should be uncommented. Okay, must be enabled. Uh, this one. then okay we need to uncomment this also so it can work over ssh so let me uncomment this because we need a uh, remote ssh with our snapshot then going down okay so that's pretty itch uh, pretty it and then we will go to the intervals like 
every six R, uh, it should um, like back up. Well, the intervals are basically there. Yeah, and we can make make it basically these works with the cron and for cron we uh, we will see in our next video what cron is and how to set it up uh, for automatic backup. So that's pretty much it. And then we need to check local hosts. And here over here we can include and exclude files. Uh, over here what files to include in backup and what files to uh, exclude because it's a basic setup I'm not going to touch it okay backup points uh, what directories of localhost we would like to backup and it will backup home directory etc I just don't want this then what about remote backup over here we can see uh, we can set up the remote backup okay so what directory of um, the remote system we would like to backup we can write over here my settings for remote backup okay and I'll write backup and make sure you tab don't uh, press spacebar just tab press the tab key backup tab okay root IP address and I would like to back up its temp directory you can change it to anything and where I would like this backup to be placed mm. slash opt slash or sync dash data I think we mentioned this Or snap okay and that's it and yeah one one thing just don't forget need to mention here localhost otherwise it will fail so it's saying that backup this temp folder from this server or from this IP to localhost opt and r snap data and just go on the top yeah r snap data okay that's it write and quit and now we will check its configuration that if um, it's working fine so I will write our snapshot um, config test okay good syntax is fine so that's it now if I run our snapshot with the T command it will just uh, basically we can check this configuration only without running the real backup okay to test we will use our snapshot dash t early and it works weekly um, well it's not present at the moment but we can fix it because it's uh, this data is not available right now so let me run this and what will happen uh, if it's uh, this directory doesn't exist because at the moment I don't have this rsnap uh, 
underscore data directory here. So let me run this. And what is our IP address? IP ADDR show. It's 250. And let's go to Forty-five, and we want its this stem directory to backup. Okay, let me exit and run our snapshot. Early. Okay, it's working. Let's wait. Okay, there is an error. The program was okay so I think I uh, found the problem so guys uh, one thing I would like to mention here is that I just don't try to edit the errors uh, I face during this uh, recording so at least you guys will have understanding that how to solve such errors if it uh, like appears so uh, you can see that connect to host 192.168.1.224 so that means I mentioned wrong IP address in our snapshot configuration file. Let's find 192.168. And there we are. It should be 245. Okay. Let's run our snapshot this time and with verbose okay looks good and you can see that this directory is automatically created and we go to early.0 localhost and there we have all etc of our localhost then home we have our home directory also over here but in opt our snap data which we mentioned there we have this temp directory of our server 2 so that's how you uh, run this uh, configure our snapshot for uh, remote uh, data uh, how you can copy remote data with our and to make the process automatic you need to mention in uh, cron tab and for cron tab we will see in next video but this is basic uh, how you can add like you just cron tab dash e to edit and here you mention uh, the things like early uh, then day then month of the day uh, day of the month weekly basically it's minutes hours day week and then uh, the commands uh, you would like to run but we can we will check uh, we will uh, see a full video on cron and how to automate the task so Anyway, thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and I would really appreciate if you guys could comment that how I'm doing. It would really help me. So thank you very much and have a good one.